Stephen Rakes was last seen here walking out of Bulger's trial on July 16th before his body turned up the next morning in Lincoln. Today, a 69 year old Sudbury man was arrested. Investigators claiming that he poisoned Rakes iced coffee with cyanide. When 59 year old Rakes didn't show up in court on July 17th, people were suspicious. The Quincy man was a regular at James Whitey Bulger's trial. He had hoped to testify as a witness and claimed that Bulger and his associates forced him to sell his Southie liquor store in the 80s to use as a headquarters for their gang. However, DA Marion Ryan says that officials believe Rake's death had no connection to the Whitey Bulger trial and that defendant William Camuti acted alone. According to Ryan, the defendant and Rakes were longtime business partners and Camuti owed the victim a substantial amount of money. Camuti allegedly called Rakes on July 16th and asked to meet at this McDonald's in Waltham so that they could discuss a phony real estate deal he'd found in Wilmington. Ryan says the defendant purchased two iced coffees, one of which he allegedly laced with two teaspoons of potassium cyanide. We allege that this defendant, Mr. Camuti, intentionally put vic poison in the victim's iced coffee, drove around for several hours with Mr. Rakes in his car, and then dumped Mr. Rakes' body in a remote location. Camuti previously served jail time in the 90s for a mail fraud case involving more than $2 million. He is charged with attempted murder, misleading police, and unlawful disposal of human remains. In a five-minute arraignment, the defendant pled not guilty and is being held without bail. He is scheduled to appear in court for a dangerousness hearing on Tuesday, and Patricia Rakes, Stephen Rakes' sister, says that she plans on being there. Yeah. I'm just glad they caught the man. Yes. And I'll be in the courtroom, sitting there, waiting to hear guilty, and he can spend the rest of his life in prison. The chief medical examiner has not yet ruled on a cause of death for Rakes, but once they have, it's likely that the attempted murder charges will be upgraded to murder charges. In Boston, I'm Marion Daniels, NECN.